Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mandy and I like to talk about makeup and makeup panning. And this is a long overdue update for the 50 Shades of Yellow Gold. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for today's video. Alright, this is my long updated first up long awaited first update for the 50 shades of yellow slash gold from the Fantastic Ladies Collab group. This is a project that was created by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece of the Fantastic Ladies. And uh, this year's color was voted on by the members of the group. And the hashtag is 50 Shades of Yellow Gold PP. It started on April 15th and goes until April 15th of 2024. I have not done an update yet, so here we are. I have not been wearing a lot of makeup lately. I have been shifting my focus more from panning to other things in my life, so usages are not great and tracking is also non-existent um, for almost all of these pro products. So. Let's get into it and I'll show you the progress on the products I have marked and so forth. So first up I have my Sun Balm Face uh, SPF 70. Um, this is I use this daily as my daily moisturizer and SPF because it's that time of year. Started the project we were up here and two months later we are down here so I'm guessing in two more months or maybe in one month, I don't know, we will uh, be finished. So then I will have to buy another one because I really enjoy having this and I, I feel good when I know I have my SPF on every day. But yeah, we have a little bit left to go. Next is my Sun Bum Body Sunscreen, which I have not been doing quite as good with. This um, is the SPF 50 and I believe we brought it into the project we are here and now we are here, so not a lot of use. This I use mainly on my body, but it hasn't been sunny a lot and I have not remembered to put it on except for a few times. So um, yeah, luckily there's not a lot left, but it is the time of year where I need to start to remember to put this on. So hopefully this will be done. I do have a finished goal for this and it expires in next year, okay. It expires in March of next year. All right, next on the list is my deodorant from Hey Humans, and it is this one here. It is in the rose water and ginger. It is hard to track exactly, but if I pull off the cap, it does have a push up, and right now it's about here, but the base is about that thick, so I'm guessing we're about here, and we probably started about there. So those are the marks from the H and the H to hey. And um, yeah, that is how we're doing on that. Um, I don't use it when I'm traveling. I have another traveling, another deodorant for traveling, but I think I might switch them because the pick, last one I picked up while traveling is actually a full size and this is a bit smaller. But anyway, still working on that. I have no idea how many times I've used it because I haven't been tracking uses. Okay, next is my Ahava Soothing Smoothing Hand Cream in Superfood Kale and Turmeric. There may be a little bit left, but it, this is pretty much empty. There's just whatever's clinging down to the bottom here. We brought it into the project, I believe it was here. I had marked it here, but then it had settled and it was down to here, and over the last two months I have used it all up. So this is my first empty of the project, and yeah. Um, I enjoyed it. it. I don't know if it was very long lasting, but it definitely was very nice and smoothing. Uh, next up we have my bubble bath. This is from Urban Hydration. It is their Brighten and Glow Peach and Papaya Bubble Bath. And let's see, I put tape on this one. I brought it into the project. I marked it here and I have used that much, just a couple. Um, I haven't actually been staying anywhere where I've been able to take bubble baths recently, so still working on that and a ways to go. Um, next 
up we have my hemp's lotion and this is this guy here this is the wild flowers and chamomile hemp's lotion I brought it into the project it was somewhere up here and it was in another project so this is our first update and we are to right here and my goal is to finish this and it smells lovely I put some on today after a shower um, next we have my Zum Mist from Indigo Wild. This is the Frankincense and Myrrh Zum Mist. And I brought it into this project. I believe we were right here. And I did not mark it, but let's see, we are down to here. So I will go ahead and mark that. There we go. So we went from there to there, not bad, in two months. Um, my goal is to finish this and it should be no problem with that amount of continued use. And I'm actually wearing that today as well. Okay, uh, next we have my gardenia, Tahitian gardenia and wild, but uh, no, I don't know what this is called. Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I brought the shampoo in. We were up here and now we're down there. Um, I have decanted some of it because you can see there was a jump from here to there. I had decanted it into a travel bottle and that's why there isn't as much use from here. And then for the conditioner, this was brand new when I brought it in so I'm guessing it was probably up here and we are now right down here and that is a big jump because some of that has also been decanted into a travel bottle. So those are slow going but they're continuing and I did have the shampoo much before the conditioner that's why there's a big difference. Um, ba -ba -ba, haven't used that, haven't used that, haven't used that. Okay next up we have my eye, eye cream and this is Isano's Hydrating Rose Hip Eye Cream. Um, I brought this in and I think it was up here and today we are down here. So making pretty good progress. My goal is to finish this and I don't see that being a problem. Even though it is an eye cream and you don't use a whole lot, I do use it twice a day every day, most of the time. And um, yeah, we're making steady progress on that. So that is moving right along. Um, then I have my propolis serum. This is from Hey Honey. It is a Bee Clear Skin Purifying Bee Propolis Serum. It is this guy here. I use it in the mornings um, when I'm feeling like acne prone. Um, it's supposed to help clear up your skin and we brought it in. It was this great big line here and now we are down to there. So a little bit of progress to go on that. And my goal is to finish it. Uh, next we have my Milani Rose Water Facial Hydrating Mist. I brought it into the project. We were right here and today we are all the way down here. I use this just as a mist in the evening or sometimes if my face needs hydration. And my goal is to finish it. Not going to be a problem. We are on our way to that. Then I have my Freeman In Shower Warming Mask. I've used it once, that was today. No change in product. My goal is to finish it and it is still full. Don't need a whole lot. All right, next we have my deluxe sample size of the Biosance Squalene and Amino Aloe Gentle Cleanser. Brought it into the project, we were about halfway and now we are down to here. This is my travel face cleanser, so I have been traveling and um, yep, making progress. My goal is to finish that and that should not be a problem. Um, my Essence Mascara, I have been using that every time I wear makeup. Um, no progress to see for that. That'll be out in by the next update. Uh, I have three nail polishes brought in and I didn't grab them. But the first one is a bright yeah, highlighter yellow called Highlight of My Day. My goal is to use it three times. I've used it once, so no change in progress there. Um, I have an e.l.f. mini 
um, from their Game Up collection. It's just yellow. Uh, uh, my goal is to use it three times. I've used that once as well. And then I have a polish from Complex Culture. It is a bright red with a gold cap. And that one is called Hustle. And I have a goal to use it three times and I've used it once. I should have grabbed them. I'll grab them next time. Um, but there was no progress to be seen, but I have used each of them once. The highlight of my day, the neon yellow and the hustle were both used as a pedicure and I will throw up a picture of my manicure using the yellow elf polish. Alright, moving on we have my makeup items. Oh, there's no progress to show on this, but my BH Cosmetics Base Booster um, Glitter Glue, I have been using that when I wear makeup and there's no I can't see through the package and there's no way of tracking it. There's a big air bubble in it. So um, yeah, I can't tell that I've been using it, but I've been using it. Um, next we have my, I'm gonna say um a lot, but that's okay. My Milani uh, Screen Queen Foundation in 110 Cool Porcelain with a touch of Yensa foundation in it. Um, and we brought it in, it was here, and I've used it just a little bit down to there. That is my best guess because there is quite a bit sticking to the sides. It is the thick formula. That's one of the reasons I added the Yensa foundation to it because the other one is more um, liquidy and darker. Um, then we have my Yensa uh, toner and this is their Tone Up Primer in Essential Glow. Um, I don't know where it was. Actually, I do. It was right here because I just haven't been using it until today and I've like worn it twice since bringing it into the project so that is where we're starting. Um, next I have a... Uh, yep, okay the rest is all makeup. So I'll put the basket of skincare to the side. Okay and then lastly my gloss. Um, the gloss and this is the shade legends only I have been using this daily as a lip balm and it is all the way down to the bottom I just need to take out the stopper now because I've started having to scrape the sides you can see all the windowing in there um, so now I just have to um, take out the stopper and uh, you know get it all scraped out but still working on it been using it daily almost daily um, and then the other lip products and none of the makeup I have any progress to show on so I'm not even gonna touch on what they are but I have five palettes for no lip pan left behind which I may have used but I'm not counting them because they're in other projects at the moment and some lip products and a highlighter which I have not touched any of those so yeah moving on I am rolling in two new items this month um, I did finish two um, oh, I forgot about that one. Sorry. I crossed it out and I forgot. Um, it was like, I finished two. I didn't talk about one of them. One was a deluxe, one was a foil sample. This is the Damn Damn um, Mochi Mochi, or Mochi Mochi, a uh, luscious cream sample. I finished that. So I finished this and I finished the Ahava hand cream. Two finished products so far. Yay! We're on a roll. So now I have finished two products. I'm bringing two in. And to replace the Ahaba hand cream, I have this Gold Bond Hailing Hand Cream with Aloe. Um, has a nice gold cap and gold writing on it. Bringing this in to finish. And then I have from Jurgens a Natural Glow um, Gradual Tanner <laughs> for fair to medium skin. And I'm not going to say I'm going to finish it. I'm going to put a goal to use half of it because I probably won't remember to use it. But that's where we're starting. I have used it once since purchasing it. And um, yeah, we're going to try and get to half use on that because I don't think I can use the whole thing. This is a full size. I did have a small travel size before and that took me a while to use. But we'll see. If I have a couple months I've used half of this, then I will try and finish it but I'm gonna use half of that. And that is everything for today's update. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too fast for you. If you have any questions about products in this project, 
please let me know down in the comments section. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a video. And until my next video, take care of yourselves, stay true to you, and I will see you later. Bye.